You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Fear Factor. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Fear Factor news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Fear Factor. What up? Ow! After Buzz TV on your computer screen, my name is Adam. I'm here with my (laughs) co-hosts, who are more important. I got Spicy Marty up in here. And who do we have, uh... To your right. We have you the, do better intros have, than me. We have the gorgeous, and from what I hear, delicious, Sean Overman. <laughs> Thank you for having me once again, you guys. That's what's you up. i to give you a spicy intro, Sean. Thank you, spicy. <laughs> I really enjoy that. I don't really give myself much. I just go, and I'm Adam. Before there was Eve, there was Adam. That's right. There you go. That's your intro. The sub man. <laughs> oh, that. That's a good one. Anyways, this is Fear Factor, the fifth episode. We made it to number five. Congrats, team. Congrats. <sighs> My stomach almost didn't make it. We can breathe. <laughs> yeah. And what was this one called? Roach Coach. Roach Coach. Mm-hmm. It's a clever name, huh? Also one of the challenges. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. The disgusting mm-hmm. challenges. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that I know, right I'm now. I'm recovering. Can we start with the first one? Because <laughs> I don't want to get to the second yet. That's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> Let's start with the first one. And this was very, can we say this was a very different show than all the other Fear Factors we've watched? It was. And Could I tell you why this is going to be, I, I'm going to announce what the challenge is now. Because you know what? Might as well let it marinate for Adam Sudman. In the special segment, he uh, will do okay. another challenge. And hopefully he will redeem himself from last week. So, uh, real quick, just take one guess, uh, any one of you. Sh- um, uh, either one of... Of what the challenge that you're going to make him do? Yeah, it's nothing to do with food. Okay, I think that we are going to tie him up. <laughs> and he's going to have to get out of it while we hold him underwater in the toilet. Oh, you Actually, no, <laughs> That's it what is... I was <laughs> That's what Fear Factor would do. No, Adam, Adam is going to have to listen to the most annoying sound ever uh, recorded on YouTube. And uh, it, don't worry, guys. I will mute your headsets oh, only. God. So it's only going to be playing to Adam and our fans. So fans, you're probably going to want to lower so I'm your headsets. Li- I'm going to be listening to you, Phil. Is that what you're saying? Oh. 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 I wouldn't be talking for a guy who failed last challenge. Right, you know. You eat Anyways, egg. guys, uh, back to the show. I'll let you guys get going. But just wanted to let that simmer. Thank you, Phil. So for those of you who missed last week, we gave Adam the challenge of having to swallow three egg yolks, and he couldn't even do it. He couldn't I even got, get down well, one. Give me credit for, like, I got I got at least a little one. You got one halfway you, down and then regurgitated it back up. I think up. it was half of one. What, half of one. Give me something. <laughs> I did a half. He didn't get, get any of the yolks, Whatever. y'all. Whatever. <laughs> so today we have a new challenge for him coming soon. Hey, I'm not on Fear Factor. I'm just, I can talk about it, you know. Hey. Give me 50 grand and then we'll talk about the three yokes. But <laughs> thank you, Phil. That's, that's, that's what it takes. That's okay. Phil, by the way. Always a great DJ slash VJ, whatever you want to call it. No? Okay. Um, let's get into the first <laughs> didn't one. Show you any love on that one. <laughs> no, I wasn't getting into No little song you got there, Phil. No little like after buzz. No nothing? Okay. Some Justin Bieber, maybe. He's heavy. There you go. Unnecessary, Unnecessary roughness. roughness. <laughs> He found something for you. All right, there we go. All right, all right. Enough of me talking about nothing. Um, first, uh, first challenge. We were talking about how this was different than any Fear Factor. What do we have to do in the first challenge? Well, the first challenge was the underwater. Uh, I guess they were like simulate drowning, right? And I, I, I think I, I skipped into it. Let's talk about our contestants. Oh, yeah. There we go. For the show, the couples first that are doing Let's get to the nitty gritty. Okay, who do we got up first? First was Tia and Bobby. They were an engaged couple. Tia and Bobby. And, and do you remember anything that stood out to you about Bobby? 
He was the 49ers, right? Yeah, the, yeah. Was the 49ers. And Tia just had a baby, super, super hot. She didn't look like she had a baby. Snaps off to her for having a smoking body and great complexion. Very beautiful. So, you know, my money's always down for the hot couple. Okay. <laughs> you said that, and I was I was teamed up. I don't know. He was the 49ers. He seems like he was um, definitely in shape. He was uh, his, he was in the zone, and uh, they were my team. What about you? Um, well, the my favorite team was actually the second team that came up. Okay. And that's uh, Antonella and oh no, actually, that actually they're the third team. Sorry, I was kind of skipping. Yeah, them, nah, yeah, right, I was gonna go, cut. Let's go back about... to the 49 er a little bit. I liked his athleticism. Did you? I was surprised that he said he was a 49 er though. He didn't. I he didn't look like one, right? No, he didn't. He seemed like he was a little bit on the small side. Right. Right. And that's what made sense when I think we caught up when he said I used to play the 49ers back in like he's like back in '94 like that was no '94 long... is when he ran track. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> he was also the. Oh, he said 2003. He had 2003. the opportunity to go play for the Niners, and that's why oh. that's why he didn't do Fear Factor back. Right. Then. Right. So he okay. That brings me back. He also he also knew what Fear Factor was about, so he knew he was getting into. But it sounds like you guys are holding him to a high standard because he was an athlete, no? Well, why not? Well, you can do a lot of athletic things on Fear Factor. I just, I just like their personality and they... right, right, right. And <laughs> and he looked like if Phil can bring up a picture, he looked like okay, Darren Williams. He plays on the Nets. He kind of looked like his like baby brother, smaller head. But if we can bring <laughs> that up, so... if we can bring up what's his name? His name is Bobby. Are we gonna do a split screen? I don't know if we can do that techno stuff, but Bobby. Phil can do anything. Wait, you want Darren? Okay, I, I want looking... Darren Williams of the New Jersey Nets, <laughs> and I want Bobby. Of the Fear Factor episode five. Okay, Bobby episode five, Darren Williams. All right, let's get back to you. Were gonna tell us. Let's go to second couple. Yeah, couple. second couple. Uh, that was Antonella and Jenna, and these were uh, two girls. They were roommates. Okay. Cute um, girls. They were cute. weren't they from? Uh, they're Jersey. from Jersey. Yeah, but they're nothing like uh, Jersey Shore. They said don't have any stereotypes for them. Yeah, you they believe were, that? They, no, they were smoking. They were hot. Uh, they looked better than the girls. They were sure. singers. Sure. Yeah, they were right? singers. They were. They have their own personal business going on like where they're telegram. singing Telegram. Yeah. I mean, I only, s- I only say that because they were they were a bit cock too cocky for me, and that just brings me back to the whole Jersey thing. Thinking you're better than everyone, right? How were they cocky. What did they do? They were. Were they? Sean, back me up here. Were they cocky? You know, it didn't strike me as them being cocky. I, I thought it was weird how they sang like that. It's like they had it rehearsed, but I guess it's because it's They do job. that for a living. Yeah, Wait, can I go. <laughs> Hating. <laughs> Hating on the did court. You, did you bring that specifically? <laughs> no, I just say it was a gift. <laughs> but I'm just saying, y'all, they, they sing for a living, so of course they're going to have a okay. song prepared, and, you oh, know, they were going on Fear Factor, enough. so they were like, okay, girl, when they ask us to sing, get ready. All right, you know what? We're going to bring this... I see this little team, this divider right here. <laughs> All right, we're going to, you know what? I thought they were a bit cocky. Mm-hmm. Okay, I wasn't trying to hate on them. Like, everybody loves to hate. All right, so if, you, if you're if you on Team Adam, you want, you call, <laughs> call in at 424-256-1729. And even if you're not on Team Adam, you can still call in, but you better back your shit up. Okay? And tweet at him, too. You can tweet me at Phil's favorite Twitter account. L A L D way, okay. And I made I think three tweets this year, so don't tell me I only yeah. made one. Okay. You didn't even know your Twitter when I asked you for it. I'm like, okay, let me tweet at you. So like, I good think three. it's X Y and Z. Yeah, that's pretty good. Three in nine days. In nine days, that's what's up. Sean's been pretty consistent on his Twitter though. <laughs> I do at least once a day. Yeah, well, you, you guys are good <laughs> tweeters. Yeah. So if you guys are Team Spicy Mari and you want to go with the hot couple, you're going to tweet at me at spicy underscore Mari. Or you guys can hit me up at the Sean Overman. That's S E A N Overman. O V E R M A N. You heard it here, folks. All right. <laughs> I just want to say that. I just really want to say that. Anyways, um, your favorite team, as okay. you said. And here we come to the third couple, which was not a couple, but it was uh, two dudes. My favorite team. The James it was and a Lewis. duo. It was a duo. Yeah. yeah. They they were a team. Okay. So we had James and Lewis and their friends. Right away, I picked them. They were my favorite. Number one reason why, two guys together. The other ones were all... Girl, so what are you trying to say? Guy. Yeah. That's what are you I, trying to say? I'm whoa, saying whoa, do you look who's next to you right are, now. I mean, I'm saying because these dudes are strong. Look, did you see how they looked? They, they, you know, 
they revealed that they they were cheerleaders. Sean, they were like, cheerleaders. Oh. Some, and, I mean, and that's the thing I didn't like. But at least there you were. You didn't two... like that they were cheerleaders? No, I didn't. What do you have against cheerleaders? Well, because I just. I, Sean, I don't let's have that vent much. here for a second. Who else do you not like out there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, folks. No. He looks high school cheerleader. Thank you, varsity. Don't hate on cheerleaders. Ooh. Okay, I'm not hating on cheerleaders. I'm ha- I'm hating on the the yell leaders, the guys. <laughs> <laughs> They were probably the bases. Men always are usually the bases. Yeah, that's true. That's hey, true. they had a lot of, you know, I was I was hating a little on them. I maybe not hating. I kind of like prejudgments because they were cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. They were, but you know, the more you got to know them, they were funny. And I don't even know if they're cheerleaders now because the whole thing, <laughs> they just seemed like they were stoned or drunk every time they would show. They were like, they were cheering for, they were cheering for everyone. It's just. <laughs> You don't believe they were cheerleaders? You think that was I a don't gimmick? know. They were just cool. I like them. Maybe they just adopted the cheerleader persona. I will almost kind of agree on. with you right? on that, just because their cheers were kind of bobo, and bobo means whack. Like yeah. <laughs> their, yep. their cheerleaders were not. I mean, their cheers were just not. They good. just didn't I seem impressed. like cheerleaders. Yeah, so. they're I mean, to be like national cheerleaders. Sean, you know your cheerleaders. National were they legit? Champions? Uh, they didn't seem gay to me. As as male cheerleaders, I that's kind You're of the stereotype. That's a stereotype. That's that's a stereotype. stereotype. <laughs> so I was surprised, but I picked them because they were the most fit looking dudes there, and they were they were, okay. guys they were very beefy. Okay, okay. They so were, that so that was your James hunks. and what was James and Lewis, Lewis. was your team. Yes. Okay, we and the la- last but not least, and I'm, not, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name, so I'm going to give it up to uh, any one of you that could. <laughs> what was it? I don't know. Zulika <laughs> and Raman. Zulika and Raman. Um, oh, Raman was the guy. Ramon. I didn't think that they were gonna win. They just they, really they didn't they, they didn't grab me. You like them? Not that I didn't not like them. They just they seem like an, a good average team that could get to the second round. They're stereotypes with people with dreads, and so like, <laughs> I didn't think okay. that they were gonna have the proper energy. If they won, <laughs> if they if they got to championship and they won, if they got to the championship, I wouldn't be that surprised. If they won, I would be a little surprised. But there was definitely the other two people that would be really surprised if they won. Less if that makes any of my logic there. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I'll I'll, I'll give you on that. Thank but, you. But Thank you. Spicy. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Nothing really stood out to me about them, so I just that's what I was gonna say too. They weren't very charismatic. Kind of a throwaway team. He was kind of funny. I thought no. Mm, uh. In a non-funny kind of way, yeah. What stood out to me? <laughs> <laughs> he was the probably the tallest guy out there. So there you go. Yeah. That's What's up? What's up to all the tall guys out there? All right. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's finally get to this first um, this first challenge. What do we have? Can we get back? You were explaining what we had going on. The so, cage. So it was the underwater cage. So there we go. Underwater cage. Um, I don't know. Who else could explain it better? You probably, okay. you probably took better notes on that. They're in an underwater cage, mm-hmm. and one person, they had to pick who who did what. One person. Someone's going to be in the cage and allow themselves the to be sunk underwater. Right. And then the other person's going to swim and dive. But and they're tied. The person in the box right, they're is tied. tied. Inside. And then the other person is going to swim to rescue them by, um, what are those, pliers or something they were using? Yeah, scissors? cutting pl- yeah. pliers. And so um, they're tied down with by their wrist. So, so the, the partner like has to rope. release them yeah. and then swim around to the side. And then what were those little screws? The wing nuts. The wing nuts. Wing and then you nuts. had to un- unravel the wing nuts. There was like, what, four four of them? Yeah, it looked like there was like six. So it's kind of, if you can't really picture it, you're kind of like in a shark tank. And you're just in a big pool. And some like person is on their knees like praying tied up like you know with their <laughs> arms out and some guys like yeah you have to wear goggles and you have pliers and you're just un- unraveling two it cutting like a, two like ropes a las vegas houdini kind of act right going on. right mm-hmm. and yeah whoever could do it in the what shortest amount of time right. would move on. as soon as you escape you have to swim to the flags apparently this was a lot harder than fear factor thought it would be and i thought that this was going to be easy I, t- I totally thought that so until the first thought. challenge. So you thought. The first challenge were the two young girls. Uh, what was their names? Antonella, Antonella and, and Jenna. Jenna. These were the singers um, that owned their own uh, telegram business. Mm. And they were supposed to have they were strong too, lungs. Too cocky. That you think <coughs> they're from Jersey, too cocky. But they weren't really that cocky folks. They and just had beautiful voices. Apparently they were weak, too, because they, as soon as they got in there, they could not cut the damn ropes with the what I think they were <laughs> bolt cutters. They looked it was like something yeah, bolt cutters. It was something tough. Yeah. But um who was the one that went into the cage that had to hold their breath? I think that was um Antonella. Antonella. She, she Antonella was, the was in the cage. So basically the person in the cage just once it goes underwater, you just have to be really good at holding your breath. And you mentioned spicy that what men can 
Men have bigger lungs, so they're able to hold more air and stay under longer, usually. Except for in our case, I would probably, you know, wipe the floor with you. But in this Whoa. particular case... <laughs> Whoa there. Low blow. I'm just playing with you. Okay, but in this particular case, um, I knew that they were going to lose by uh, Jenna's dive. Jenna's dive into the water was horrible. Hmm. Her dive showed me that she was unathletic and that she wasn't good with swimming. Can you show us how you're supposed to dive? Like, you're supposed to put your hands up, right? Well, she dived like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> so okay, she made guys. a big splash and she should have dived like this okay and so testing um, that was a good yeah, dive. So, yeah and so <laughs> i could just tell you know she wasn't she wasn't very athletic by the way we should have a challenge next week to see if uh adam can catch spicy mari as she dives into his arm <laughs> <laughs> i'm very aerodynamic by the way no <laughs> yeah but it's really not about you it's more about adam catching you <laughs> i don't yeah i don't know my, my back ready, will be broken <laughs> by, by the time we're done uh, so yeah, so she dives into the water and she gets to her girlfriend and she's not able to what um, um, pry her out of the cage. Right, and she's having like you guys said, she's having trouble cutting the wire, and then her goggles keep slipping off, and she thinks, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna take my goggles off. It's gonna be easier. Bad idea. Like I, I'm sure the water has some kind of chlorine, chlorine or something, because she was just like squirming like a dead fish. Yeah, how many of you guys go into a pool like that and it probably is filled with chlorine? When you open your eyes underwater, how do you see? You can't burns, see. It burns. It burns, number one, for most people. Number two, you can't see that far. Yeah. It's, and really, even if you, it's still even, murky even though it's clear. Exactly. Even if you could see a little, you're expected to like cut the rope. You have to do this you know, you have to, like, act, task. Yeah. But they looked like they were pretty uncomfortable, and it seemed like every single person was having a challenge with the goggles. So right. she probably took them off and felt like she could swim and stay underneath if she just took the goggles off. So okay. in the heat of the moment, she decided to. Because I'll swim underwater without my goggles. And, you know, my eyes will be burning. And for fear factor, I felt like she should have just taken the burn, and she did. Well, I don't want to waste my breath on them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because they wind up being what? They Lizers. quit so easily. They were punks. They were not representing women well. That's why I well. said too cocky. Okay, <laughs> now are you going to back me up? I back you up on this. Now it's time to talk trash about it. They quit them. after 45 seconds. I'm not, they, trying to, I'm not trying to try to talk trash. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm talking trash. All right, here we go. They they, they did not finish the challenge. Um, when Jenna gets out of the water, she says, Oh, I was worried about Antonella not being able to, belie- to, to breathe. That's why I gave up on the challenge. That's a bullshit That's, excuse. She, she gave up because she couldn't breathe. And she, she was trying to blame it on her friend. That's right. Yeah, she went up so many times for air. And she had... She she also at first said, oh, I couldn't keep my goggles on. That's why I quit. And then she had the excuse that you just said, which was like, oh, come on, you're changing the story. I was trying story. to save That's my totally friend's right. life. Whatever. Yeah, that, that, I don't know. Let's see how that friendship went. If we can get them on the <laughs> show, we just want to know if you're still friends. Tell That's them all. that number again. Um, what's my number? 424-256-1729. Please. Um, that is the number. <laughs> Please, uh, hit please up. call me, and if you're only, if you're gonna call me, just make sure to be on my. Antonella, team. Jenna, please hit us up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want. The next couple they went was Zulika and Ramana, and they had a better strategy to theirs. Their dive was a little bit uh, cleaner, but uh, who Z- went in the cage? Z- Zulika, um, Ray- Ramon, Ramon, Raymond, whatever his name is. Ramon. Zulika Ramon. was on the outside. Ramana Ramon was on was the in inside. The cage. Yeah. Okay. And I knew they weren't going to last because his dreads, you know, <laughs> he didn't want to get them wet. No. <laughs> but Zulika wrapped her leg around the cage. And I thought that was a good strategy to keep her underneath so that she could prop herself in order to not float back up to cut. But then she didn't even wind up cutting anything. Right. And they ended up having the same problems with the cutting that she couldn't do it again. And, you know, I have to keep bringing this up, but I think she just didn't have the strength or mm. the precision I mean, because she was a girl. She couldn't cut that wire for some reason. That, that's fair because I would uh, I would argue why they put why do they felt that um, Raymond I'm just gonna call Ramana. him R because I can't keep <laughs> pronouncing it I just I don't know why they would put him in just because um, he's I don't know he's tall like you said he can easily cut through those and then it's really a team effort of just right. winding the bolts instead of he can't really do anything he's tied it's just like. And, you know, I don't know. The stronger person yeah. should have cut. Yeah. Maybe they felt like he was taller so he could stay, like, up above the water more as it was going down to catch more breath. They could have just all got psyched out and thought it was a lot harder than it was. Yeah. Because they didn't really need to hold their breath for that long as we've seen in the next one. So they're gone. They quit. So already we have... Speaking, of, speaking of people holding breaths, um, I have a caller waiting for you that oh, has been uh, patiently waiting, patiently calling. 
So, caller, you are on the line. What's up, caller? Hello. Hello, caller. Introduce yourself. What's up, folks? <laughs> How you doing, man? How you doing? <laughs> who who might this be? Oh, spicy muddy. It is Ronnie. You Jr. know me by name. <laughs> is, this uh, one of, is this one of my lovers? Well, it's Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> <Just say. laughs> Hi, Ronnie. Welcome to the show. What's up, Ronnie? What's up, Ronnie? Um, you guys are good to show and to watch from from the house. Um, anyway, so it was like a social media thing on this show today. I wanted to tell you guys that um, I was doing research on behalf of the show. I'm gonna come in, you know, next week to be in studio with you guys. Yay! But I wanted to tell you that a uh, there's like celebrity love for Fear Factor right now. Mm. Um, not only is it like a trending topic on Twitter. But uh, you have a celebrity, a very good-looking celebrity, who actually tweeted maybe like three times about Fear Factor. I guess her husband watches the show. So my question is, which female hottie is it? Is it A, uh, we'll go with uh, Jennifer Lopez Ooh. that tweeted about Fear Factor? Is it B, Jessica Alba that tweeted about Fear Factor? Ah. Or is it C, another hottie, uh, Maria Menounos, the celebrity that tweeted about Fear Factor tonight? I'll let you guys decide. I'm going to go with B. My choice is B. <laughs> Who is B again? B is Jessica uh, Biel. B. Uh, B was Jessica Alba. Oh, Jessica, Jessica Alba. Alba. Jessica and Alba. I'm going to go. I'm going to take and a real, big risk and go with C. I'm going oh, with Maria. B Maria. Um, um, it was uh, it was B. It was Jessica Alba. Yeah. Oh, yay! Wow. I I I guess um I guess she uh, wait 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 her real her quick. Husband. Real quick, shame on Sean for not knowing that Maria doesn't have a husband. You should have read the Every Girl's Guide to Life by I Maria knew, Menounos. I knew, I knew that. I knew, I knew C was. I knew. I was on between And I knew it was Jennifer because she's not married anymore either. So it had to be B. Jennifer uh, Lopez is too busy with her, like her, like what twenty-five year old boyfriend. Wow. I know my gossip. I, I know my gossip. I plead okay. The fifth on that. He's a friend of mine, so I am not going to. Answer I'm just that saying question. he could be busy. She's busy. Just saying. I plead the fifth, folks. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, Sean, yeah, you're not doing your homework on Maria. You need to be on that new website on AfterBuzzTV.com. You can read the bio. Sean, I got to tell you, you got to read the How to Be a Girl book. Everything, Sean. <laughs> get it together, hey, brother, I'm, man. Get I'm it together. Actually, <laughs> hey, listen to me, man. I am up to part two on the book. I stopped there because it's at the style part, and I don't really need to, <laughs> to read how to do my makeup. <laughs> Thank that, you. Was, that, was a, that was a good pop um, quiz. No, a couple other things. You, you guys are like killing it on the recap. This is awesome to watch. You guys all look awesome. Everyone is uh, doing their thing. Thank Real you. quick for the Fear Factor fans. Uh, like I said, it was a Twitter trending topic, so that's pretty cool. The show is obviously getting a gigantic buzz. On the NBC website, you have Fear Factor now casting. So if you're in the L.A. area, uh, I mean, they do casting everywhere, but there is one specifically in the L.A. area, wow. so look out for that. NBC.com. Has that info for Ronnie, you? Are you down to um, come on Fear Factor with me? I was sort of thinking about it. It's funny because I heard um, you guys talking to Adam, and I guess evidently Adam like fails at every challenge. Adam would be it's my okay. last it, pick. I wouldn't choose Adam if my life depended on it. Whoa, he no offense, Adam. Yeah, the first the first challenge. <laughs> There's some low blows here. <laughs> you stayed in the what first challenge. What did I do? <laughs> the compost heap. You were in there. <laughs> Should I just leave now? You guys no, can no, do no. this. No, no. Don't let us scare <laughs> you away. Hey, man, we need you here. Don't leave, please. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, what else you got for I, us in the media? Uh, uh, in the social media? Um, real, I mean, just like the casting, uh, there's some message boards, so just so you know, like, because you kind of wonder, like, what makes one show have so much social media buzz and, and others not? Uh, Fear Factor does really good with Facebook. Also, like, their lead guy, Joe Rogan, who I'm going to tell you is very funny. Oh, I love Joe comic, Rogan. Also, I love him. Huh? Uh, he's my inspiration. You, you don't like him? No, I no, love he's him. hilarious. Hilarious. Love him. Laugh. You funny. Know, back, back when Fear Factor was around 10 years ago, before Joe Rogan was like Joe Rogan, obviously this was after he did the one sitcom or whatever, um, he had done the show Fear Factor. It was kind of like brand new. No one really knew about his comedy. Now everyone knows about his comedy. But at right. the time, I had never heard really that too much comedy. He was still kind of, you know, breaking out. He, he wasn't really that, you know, celebrity known yet. And uh, I got to see him at the comedy store, and the dude is ridiculously funny. I mean, we all know that now, that's and he does his UFC stuff, and huh? That's that's what I hear. No, I, I I hope I don't. Do you know if he's coming uh, back to like comedy clubs? Is he touring? Well, not only that. Well, not only that, and this is a big social media buzz for not only him and and after buzz and everything, just to kind of tie into like what we're doing and why this whole like broadcasting after a show is so important. 
he actually has his own Ustream page, uh, which is the Joe Rogan page. Uh, I can't get the exact link right at the moment. You could go on his Twitter to find it. But, dude, he's got, like, he does a broadcast, and he has 18, 20,000 awesome. views right off the top. And, and his studio, I'm just going to say, if the After Buzz studio is a 10, um, their studio is like a 3. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is just <laughs> the social media thing is insane. And, and I think that's what makes the show so good. you got a good host. It's a fun show to watch, right, and you right. guys are killing it on the recap. I appreciate Dynamic it. Theme. Ronnie, you got mad love for us. I love it. <laughs> I was doing a little bit of, uh, <laughs> of reading on the NBC website for Fear Factor, and uh, yeah, uh, Joe, he has his own uh, Ustream thing too, and I think he broadcasts like twice a week on there. So you know, oh. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm out. saying. Ronnie, so it's a good up. show. And Ronnie, to answer your question, yes, we'll absolutely do the Fear Factor. Why not? I'm kind of like what Adam said. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, I don't know if I want to do the challenges, but you throw $5,000 my way. You throw $10,000 my way. <laughs> you throw $50,000. I'll do just about anything. I'm just going to put that out I'll there get right a now. For a <laughs> Thanks for calling, Ronnie. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. We love All right. You. Take care. Bye, Ronnie. Uh, always great, Ronnie. He'll, he'll, he said was, he's going to come in here next uh, Yeah, next no, he's going to come. Join, he's join gonna the come. crew. Add some more dynamics. Ronnie's good for that. He'll well, there you go. You and Ronnie. You and Ronnie. I want to see you next uh, next you season. You and Sean should go up against us. Fine. You, you know guys, what? You know what? Good. You guys I'll, are like I will. two of the biggest beefcakes I've ever you know, seen. And I'm going to be hearing spicy <laughs> this, spicy that. Adam can't do it. And we're just going to show you up. We're just not going to talk. We're just going to do our work and just... Get that I 50 Gs and peace out. I would love to see you in that last challenge, but we'll get to that. All right, let's let's finish this one up. So we had uh, the th- we got rid of Antonella mm-hmm. and Jenna, okay. and we got rid of Zulika and Romana. Right, they're they're peaced out. And then they're it's gone. James and Lewis. James and Lewis. They were and the cheerleaders, and they, they were uh, smashed. They did smash. Yeah, as soon as they got in there, good dive, great form. <laughs> um, no, and they yeah, they had less, swimming ability. In less than twenty five seconds, they were already at the cage, and they were like cut. They cut them free. instantly. They knew, like it, it almost seemed like they knew what everybody was doing wrong. Like they knew it wasn't this hard, you know. They just jumped in, boom, boom, boom. They were together. They had like a little strategy going. As soon right. as he cut it, he swam around. They unscrewed the little the nuts. Are, the nuts. They were good they at screwing the nuts. the nuts. That's what she said. <laughs> Is that what you said? That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> so they got one minute and 18 seconds. Wow. That's really good timing. That's pretty good. Um, I, I mean, we, obviously, obviously we didn't see we didn't see what the other two uh, two groups could do, but 118 looks pretty solid. They couldn't do anything. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic. Um, so they they they're in already. They're in already. And so now, what the benefit for them winning is they can choose if they want to go first or second next round. So they got 118. That's a solid time. But then T and Bobby. And last but not least, we got T and Bobby. They gave them a little run for their money. T and Bobby. They were we chose them. We, we liked them. We chose them Those right were, before. Yeah, that was our pick. That was our pick. Athletic, a former 49er. He, maybe he doesn't look like a 49er, but he was a 49er. So he he uh, he has that mentality. They, they both looked athletic to me. Though. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, even though he might have not been like huge, he still was very in shape, very lean. I feel like they both run track every day. They work out together. But he jumped right in there too because she was the one in the cage, and he instantly, even quicker than the other guys, um, got them got her out of the rope. Right, and I I realized what made them difference. A difference. They were actually they had a strategy going in. They knew they were already uh, on to the next round. They didn't really need to win. Yeah. But he, um, I mean, it, you, the camera got them. He was like, you know, I'll do this, and then when I do this, that's when you have to do. You know, they had a strategy. So and they I were, think they were the first team to do that to actually talk like that in the beginning. Right. And it seemed a little bit more elaborate. Right. The only thing with them, with um, T and Bobby, was that as soon as he broke her free from the ropes and had to unscrew the bolts, he didn't open her door for her. I'm very big on chivalry. He left her <laughs> inside the cage, so I think that wasted a lot of time. You always because... open a door for a lady, whether <laughs> you're in water, <laughs> whether it's a house or car, whatever. <laughs> he left her in the cage, and she's literally trying to push open the cage because it looked like it was pretty heavy underwater. Right. And he swam up yeah. to the top so that he could breathe, and his girl is underwater still trying to get out. And then she swam up to the top and caught up with him that, to catch the flag. That could have cost them because yep. guess what time they got? 124. 124. So they lost by what? Six seconds? Yeah, if he would have just opened that door. Who that's knows? That's all I'm saying. Who knows? Open the door for women, fellas. And it also seemed like, I don't know if you guys caught this, but it seemed like the the rope that was on her arm was kind of getting caught around some of the wing nuts. I saw too. that. I noticed so I didn't, that. I didn't catch that. And maybe that made it so that the door was a little bit harder to open. And the kids were getting tied up, and mm-hmm. it seemed like it was in their way when they were both trying to unscrew. 
Interesting. But well, other than that, I'm sure they're, they're both fine because they're really cause good they're, at uh, cause like apparently this Fear Factor two uh, two teams can't get back the first round. Yep. So what was the next challenge? The next challenge was Spicy's favorite. Oh God. <laughs> Why, folks? Because. They gotta eat a lot of nasty. La cucaracha, nasty. la cucaracha. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> this one was horrible. This was disgusting to watch. I would have been infuriated if this was the fear factor I would have landed on. And I felt so bad for them for this challenge because they had what? The gigantic roaches. They had rat chips with or rat, rat hair. hair. On There's the rat chips. hair and like yeah. chips. On pita chips. Yeah. They were pita chips. And maggot blood salsa. <sighs> Where they got this blood from, because this looked like it was real blood, um, and I am a true blood fan as well. So to drink blood, I don't really have a problem with that because I'm a vampire fanatic. But where did they get this blood from? What type was it? Like, th- they just pulled it from the blood bank for Fear Factor? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I have a problem with that. It and, didn't seem sanitary. And they would also get 5K with this one, probably because there were only two teams right, left. Right, they said that because... fastest. Right, they said because normally there would be three teams and one, the, the least one that drank the most or ate the most would go. They had to do some kind of incentive or both of them would just sit there and like taste it and not do anything. So the winner would 5K plus to pick even if they were, if I can't speak right now, sorry. <laughs> if they would go first on the last challenge. That's right. And they had 15 minutes <laughs> to do this, to eat all these disgusting things. So the cheer twins, what was their names? That's uh, Lewis and James. They made the other team go first mm-hmm. and start off with the cockroaches. And they, yeah, that's right. They had to, they gave them a the, choice. They, oh, they, yeah, they gave them the choice of what to make the other team. Make. Either what, grasshoppers or uh, the roaches. roaches. This challenge was awful. Could you do this? Let's be honest. I don't know if I could. No, I don't, I don't know me. <laughs> yes or no? I'm saying. I'm saying roaches, no. Grasshoppers, yes. I agree with you. Because these roaches were pooping while no. they were eating them. That was the most disgusting thing I've Ugh. ever seen in my entire life. The pus was literally oozing from the roaches' booty holes. <laughs> and they still had to eat them. And, and, um, I want to throw up. Tia, that was her name, Tia? Yeah. She couldn't even get one down. And she kept jumping every single time a roach would like squirm. And then when she was trying to drink the maggot blood, she was like sipping it like it was wine. For the first four minutes plus, she wasn't eating anything. Yeah. She was acting like a, like, I'm, I wish I don't have to say this. She was acting like a little girl, like, eh, like it's a spider or something, She wasn't a badass you know? in this one. No. Luckily, her man picked up the slack. And this is where I forgave him, because this is when he was being chivalrous. Uh, I know what you're going to say. Yes. <laughs> Wiping the blood from her chin, right? Oh, that was so sweet. That was sweet. It's like, baby, I'm sorry. They got maggot <laughs> yeah. juice right there. <laughs> I really appreciated that. She was letting me. <laughs> she was letting me down. I just was. I honestly, I thought she was. I mean, maybe at first no, but once that she saw that her her man was like just chomping yeah. on the roaches, you would think that she would step up and try one. It was like. Well, I was thinking, didn't you have kids? Isn't that the most like fearful thing to ever experience? She had like actual human being come out of yeah. her. You know what? Her. But you can't even eat a roach. But you had a human come out of you. And for 5K additional. <laughs> 5K, man. Plus, yeah. Eat those damn roaches. For 5K. This is when her prettiness kind of kicked in and she was being an extra girly girl. But luckily he stepped up to the plate. This is when I saw him get a little gangsta and start scarfing down those roaches. So I was proud of him for this. I mean, he had to step up. I mean, like, he he played football. Like, you know, NFL is supposed to be, like, the toughest guys out there. If he wasn't going to eat, like, one roach, then no. Nah, he had to, at least for his man car. Yeah. So. Um. And he's probably more of a man than me, but still, he had to do it. <laughs> and he probably ended up eating over half the roaches, and those things were huge, right? And all, f- it turns out, for nothing. Not for nothing. He tried, but you, if you don't finish it, you're not even touching the 5K. But then mm-hmm. the, the, the cheer twins kicked in. Cheer twins. And by the way, did you notice when uh, um, they were going, they were cheering for them? This is when I also thought like they might have been like drunk or something, but they were cheering for them, which was kind of cool. They were funny. They're like they're actually like one of them. They're spirit. Yeah, they're team spirit. They they were they you know they were giving the competition a little bit of help. Yeah, that was nice, and it it was kind of it was kind of like yeah we'll help you even though we got this in the bag like yeah. we'll help you, and it turns out they weren't lying. They they went up to the plate and what did they do? They had to eat grasshoppers. Which I thought wasn't that bad. I thought that was so unfair because grasshoppers are sometimes a delicacy. You know, cover them with chocolate, you got a dessert. Right. And so, but those are the tiny grasshoppers. But, oh, the big ones are worse? 
Well, these ones were huge. These ones seemed like they were bigger than the roaches. He was scarfing them down, though, and I didn't yeah, see any pus good. oozing from yeah. these grasshoppers. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. They were, it was funny. You saw, when they were eating it, they would just put, like, they just... They would just like jump up and down. They were just trying to get out of the zone whatever to not think of whatever it does. And what's his face? James? He chugged that blood. Right. Oh, yeah. Vampire. I'm telling you. And his, yeah, I'm telling you. But Watch him spit, at night. He did spit up a little bit of it. So You're right. He's got his own saliva in that dish where they're eating all those bugs and insects. Fear Factor had that instant replay of that. Oh. Right? Yeah. That's how it looked. But <laughs> he, they did it. Mm-hmm. It was kind of disgusting. Even, Listen, yeah. like, they did it, and they finished with three seconds left. Oh, he wow. He spit yeah. it up and still sopped it back up. I wish you would have done that when we did that with the eggs. You spit it out, but you didn't sop it back up. <laughs> no, I did not. And that no, was, I did no, not. There's no maggots and roaches in there. You had eggs. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I can't really. You're right. I mean, what? I can't. I don't have anything to back me up. Okay. I didn't. Sorry. They, they did it and they won 5K and now they get to go, which we think second because you probably don't want to go the first people. You like to see what they're doing. Right. Mm-hmm. See what the competition's right. doing. Well, they're both in the finale. So I think we should take a commercial break right now. And then when we come back, we'll wrap things up. We'll tell you who's the winner and we'll predict for next one. So we'll be right back. After Buzz TV. Hi, I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag coworkers about it at the water cooler. Then I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzz TV produces after show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post game wrap up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? Welcome back. And we are back, folks, with the last challenge. And if you were tuned in earlier, you would have heard Ronnie Jr., um, also known as RJ Andrews. Um, <laughs> he called in and had some fabulous information. He is our social media expert and will be tuning in with us next week. But if you want to find out more of those social media facts, you can tweet at him at Ronnie Jr. Media, or you can tweet at us at AfterBuzz TV. Any time of day, we will reply as soon as we read your tweet. So, third challenge. That. Oh, and real quick, uh, also do your Twitters. You guys will respond. Oh, yeah, if, don't forget. Okay, if you guys want to play with my Twitter, you can tweet at me at spicy underscore Mari, S-P-I-C-Y underscore M-A-R-I. And then uh, for me, at the Sean Overman, that's the S-E-A-N O-V-E-R-M-A-N. And don't tweet me because I won't respond. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very good at responding. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm going <laughs> to... You can um, Facebook him. <laughs> no, don't do that either. <laughs> okay, so the last challenge. Just, just you'll see me here and we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Um, the last challenge. The racetrack. Which, so, kind of bum. Kind of bum. Really? I was bummed because it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. You have this bus that's driving and then the car following behind at a close pace. And the person is jumping back and forth trying to grab the flags and then, what, hang them up in the bus? Yeah. I didn't know that they were going to have that harness. So I'm a little bit bummed about that. I thought it was a little bit more scarier until I saw that they could just float in the air to the car. Yeah, I mean, um, Bobby was smiling, but let's see who's smiling if there's no freaking uh, <laughs> cord and you would just like fall and maybe die. Yeah, yeah. I wanted it more. Scary. I mean, yeah, I know, I know what you guys mean. Like it was like I kind of wanted to do that. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, you fall, oh, you lose, you get a stuffed animal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like at least give them more padding instead of having the harness. On something them. or at least have I don't know. Or maybe like have something so if he falls like a pit that's also like attached to the car. So if you fall, you land on like so there's no you harness. You land on glass. Okay, <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. You got a car, okay? 
surrounding the car that you're jumping in a bus and you got the car surrounding like the bus and car you just have like a padded mat i got you so you got this big yeah. structure i mean it probably look ridiculous it's kind of like a dish or something yeah. right something you fall into that could be a little dangerous around a turn but it's a fear factor and everybody's supposed to be fearless right this isn't wipeout. this is fear factor yeah so the cord eh, but we'll go with it yeah so like you said they had a Go through a bus, get the flags. Right. And so and they made um, the Tia and what's her boyfriend's name? Bobby. Tia and you know, Bobby. You guys know I'm bad with names. Tia and Bobby. They had to go first. We're cool like that. We, we text. <laughs> and so they went first and um, Bobby was chosen to jump across from the car and Tia had to drive. And I'm going to give her credibility because she is from L.A. like she said. So she knows how to drive in crazy situations. And Bobby was athletic, so he was jumping back and forth pretty smoothly. Like football, yeah. yeah. And she was tailgating the shit out of the bus. Right. She was doing really good. And they tailgate in L.A., so she's professional. She probably drives at like 24-7. <laughs> That's really how Not she that drives. she's a woman or anything, but um, it's L.A. Hey, man. Behind school buses, too. <laughs> Low blow. Um, that's true. They, so, get, they get you a ticket for that. I have gotten a ticket behind a school bus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they had to get 13 flags total right and so there's eight, eight around the car five inside five inside all right. right and they did it it's it seemed like they did a pretty good pace right right so. they he was like you said he he said what well, he had to go back 10 times and all he was thinking about was his kid and the money yeah which yeah that's good to think about and he he looked pretty dizzy at the end he looked he was, really tired. I kind of I I kind of caught me off guard. I'm like, what is he doing? Because he was the, the nine back and forth. He was like in the zone, boom, 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 and then all of a sudden, like the last one, he was like, was it dramatic effect? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think he was really exhausted. Imagine sprinting back and forth. Whether he had the harness or not, it's still pretty exhausting. Easy, but exhausting. And that, but that could have that little exhaustion. Should have had your Gatorade. Um, could have cost him. Yeah. He got two thirty three. Because it looked like mm -hmm. he took his time on the last one. Right. In comparison to the other team, especially, and when you're they're watching, and they they strategically pick them to to be first because for these little things. So not only they knew like what the time was, and they couldn't really like you know stop. And that is a cheerleading strategy. Is it? Yeah, we're watching behind, to go second. We're we're watching behind the curtain to see how the other team does, so that when we come out there, you know, and one up them, and one up them. <laughs> well, no, okay, great, they fumbled from, from the cheerleader expert. Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so well, they uh, they went second. Whether or not they're cheerleaders, we're gonna have to um, find that out more. See what squad they cheer for. Cause yeah, I, I would they're... like to know that. They didn't really name drop, did they? No, they didn't. He he was quick to say 49ers, but they didn't really say what <laughs> cheer team they were on. <laughs> so they they went second. What happened with them? And we had uh, Lewis as the driver. James was retrieving. Uh, they <laughs> <seemed> retrieving. To... <laughs> <laughs> they stumbled a lot. No, it's, that's good. They were retrieving the flag. Yeah, yeah. They stumbled a lot, which was a, yeah. you know, right away. I thought, oh man, they're they're wasting time. Well, if I mean, give James a little break. Lu I feel like Luis, Luis. I'm not good with names right now, but <laughs> it's okay. I don't even try. I don't <laughs> remember. <laughs> it looked like Lewis got caught up and watching James that he was not tailgating the bus good. I think Sean mentioned that too. You guys said that he was kind of staring at his partner while he was driving. And then when you yeah, and when you saw it, he, James was like actually leaping. Like that mm -hmm. was like that's kind of athletic. He was like doing some five foot <laughs> leaps. So is he a cheerleader? I mean, I saw his legs straddle. Do cheerleaders do that? Yeah, they straddle. Okay, well, he was doing the splits midair. Check that off. <laughs> <laughs> but they did really good time because we were kind of nervous. They're a little bit bigger. You guys said they're probably like what one seventy. He was, but he looked like my like he looked at least six five. Yeah, he looked pretty tall. And so it was pretty hard for Bobby to keep jumping back and forth into the car, right? Um, because of his size. But he was doing it, and then eventually, uh, Lewis started kind of getting too far. There was like a lot of space the, in between them. It was the last two, wasn't it? It was yeah. the last two flags. But he did. He did his. He did his split leap jump and he made it right and what time did they get drum roll drum roll <laughs> 219 folks winners Ooh. and did they win all three they did i think yes they won all they three Some fear i'm just See? saying fear factor you win one you win two you win three you just gotta win is that's all i do is win i don't know that, song. <laughs> that, and that was, was cute <laughs> these guys were my pick from the beginning they were but your pick. i proudly say that this time and uh Let's see. Do you want to do a little predictions if we can get the music? If whoa, oh, whoa, whoa! Are you trying to jump the gun and and, and not do your challenge? I think he's trying to get out of his challenge. I Phil, just wanted to predict. No, 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 no! All right, Adam, take the guest couch. Oh, you want me to get up right now? Did yes, go to the guest couch. Uh oh. All right, and uh, while he's doing that, I want listeners to know this will. Uh, you know, hurt some of your ears. It will hurt, certainly not hurt uh, Spicy Mari and Sean's because they will not actually be listening to this. Um. Put on a headset, Adam. Put on a headset. 
okay, Adam's putting on a headset right now. And, uh, all right. I hope I don't lose my hearing. And uh, let me, uh, here we go. Okay, great, Adam. You are perfectly right. in, you are perfectly in the shot. Okay, actually, just go down a little bit if you can. Give me like slide down. For those of you, yeah, who slide down, know, slide down real quick. <laughs> Adam is like six five or something. There you go, Adam. That's <laughs> perfect. Now, um, now what we're gonna do is, uh, listeners, you're probably gonna want to turn down your your uh, audio because uh, I'm gonna play this loud for Adam. Wait, like I don't want to like go deaf, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he needs to make sure Adam those ear the, the ear on. muffs are all the way on, man. Adam has a tendency to cheat, you guys. Yeah, with, he does, but he, he can't factor. cheat on this. He can't cheat on this. So this will be a full minute of the most annoying sound on YouTube. Uh, Adam, are you ready? Adam, just don't, are you just don't ready? Kill me. Just okay, don't fans, me. hopefully you're ready too because, uh, again, turn down. Now, now's the last chance to turn down your audio. So here we go. <laughs> it's going to scare the shit out of me. You're nervous, right? <laughs> Can you not hear this? I, I hear, I hear, I hear some kind bit. of squeaking or whirring. It sounds kind of like nail or something. It sounds like a bomb. Where'd you get this? <laughs> Ow. I can hear it. Oh, it's turned down now on mine. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to hear after this. <laughs> take it, take it, take it, take <laughs> no, it, take go. it, take it, take it. Come on, take man. It, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take more, it, a little bit it, more than 45 it, seconds it, left. Take it, 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 take it. Right, oh, right when he's you think gonna it's do done. it. Right when you think it's done, it Come comes on, back. Adam. Do this for the team. Do this for the team. Do not, fix your, do not adjust your no, ears. No. Come on, Adam. Let's go, Adam. Sure. Let's go. Is that <laughs> it? And that's it. All right. Yeah. yeah. He survived. <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Nice job, Adam. That nobody can deny. <laughs> I honestly can't hear right now. <laughs> I can't well, hear either. That's what you that get. Was an All right, challenge. guys. Oh, I can't. I, I don't even know if my headset's on right now. I can't hear shit. <laughs> At least you passed. Philip, turn our I got, mics up. Got no sound here. There we go. Here you go. <laughs> so Adam passed the challenge. Do you so, know what that was? What was it? That was like. You know, like when you get like your hearing aid checked, it uh, was like that on steroids. Like on blast, <laughs> I could hear it from your. Like I can still hear like some ringing <laughs> shit. Like I don't, I can't really hear you. I'm probably talking really loud, but. <laughs> I'm just proud you passed. I'm so happy for you. Got to do something around I'm here. I'm proud right? of you. Thank you. You hey, have won. You have won my favor back. You're two for three now, dude. You passed two All challenges right. out of the three. I like my statistics. That's good. Getting Phil, better, let's, Adam. let's bring back a gross one for next week, please. <laughs> Sounds like these are we getting too that. easy for him. <laughs> do we have any maggots in the um, Your After Buzz TV predictions. Oh, that again. Okay, so what are we happen? predicting? I, you guys go start. I can't even hear. Anything. I didn't know we could get more disgusting than what we saw today with the maggots and roaches. But I'm going to say that they're going to have to eat boogers. Um, that's, that might not be that bad. Boogers? Might not be that bad. Just saying. Okay. Boogers mixed with dirt and fleas. Okay. Boogers. Interesting. Boogers Interesting, from what? That's for sure. From people? People boogers? People boogers. boogers. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I got Sean. one. I got one. Okay. <laughs> they're going to be on a farm and they're going to get, uh, they're going to have to drink right from the teat of the cow. Oh, you've never is done that? that? Is, is, I don't know. It's, it could be gross, right? It's not, <laughs> it's like, not I mean, processed. I do, I, do, I do that every weekend. I grew up on tits. No, uh, my, my mom. I guess I'll, uh, <laughs> my mom don't we up, all? <laughs> my mom grew up on like a farm at one point when she was younger. And so that's how, you know. Okay, they got to do that. And then they got to drink bad. like curdled milk afterwards. <laughs> Something like that. It's just throwing just make it. <laughs> They have to drink organic milk, y'all. <laughs> what do you got for us, Adam? <laughs> All right. This is going to happen. They're going to be in a helicopter. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be hovering over some kind of water. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to jump. And they probably have a stupid safety harness. But they're going to jump in. And then they're just going to like slam in the ocean. And they're going to have to swim up. And then they're going to have to, like, swim to, like, sand or some beach, whatever, some <laughs> army, and then get up and have to, like, 
Um, I'm just trying to add shit. To make it <laughs> I don't know. You, you should be a producer on the show. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're going to write a shark or sh I don't know. Write a shark. <laughs> write something. Is that, is that them telling you? You just have that, to tune in. Is that our wrap up? You just have to tune that's in. That's the wrap it up music. Wrap it up. It's been real, folks. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real. Join us next Monday. Ronnie Jr. will be here. Phil will have something uh, planned. Maybe we'll do like a pre taping because it's going to be legit. This is, this is After Buzz TV. Yeah. And real quick, uh, for those of you listening out there, you may have uh, noticed a new change to the website. Uh, you know, we're getting a lot of good feedback. Um, we do want you to know that. Uh, the design is up. We have to uh, populate it with all the shows. Speaking of all the shows, all the shows that we do, there's over 100 of them. They're all completely free. Um, so you should check it out. If you have a favorite TV show, most likely we're doing it. And uh, you know what? Most likely Mari's on the panel. <laughs> For one of these thousands of She's shows. She's on a lot. Check, I'm a TV whore. Check out, check out this website because, you know, Phil works his ass off and this site looks beautiful. And it does. It looks smoking. A great job, Phil. Cheers. All for you guys. All for you. And remember, Monday nights at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Watch Adam. Watch Adam do a challenge and listen to some Fear Factor recap. Yes, sir. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.